Today, I'm going to talk to you about how much I need coffee. I mean, a 77D. So I've had my coffee and I'm really excited to talk to you all about the 77D. Now a quick note, I haven't handled it, I haven't touched it, I haven't used it. These are just my opinions that are coming from what I've seen on canonrumors.com, so you can check out the article there to form your own opinions if you'd like. I'm just using this as a, as a way to share what I think is, is interesting news in the photo and video world and also to share my opinion about it. So thank you very much for your attention and for your time and I really hope that you enjoy this video. The 77D has 24.2 effective megapixels, has a three inch tilty flippy LCD touchscreen. It has dual pixel AF. It has an ISO uh, range up to 25,600. 45 autofocus points, six frames per second. It has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and it weighs just over half a kilogram, so that's that's right around 1.1 pounds. I think that weight is going to be really good to just make sure that the, the camera body and whatever lens you put on the front of it stay pretty well balanced. Um, a lot of lenses are right around that 500 grams range, so that's that seems like a pretty good, pretty good weight to have. Um, looking at some of the pictures, it doesn't look like this has a headphone jack. It seems like a camera that's intended primarily for video because I believe that it's replacing the T6S and T6I. So knowing that, it seems like it that should be a feature that they put in. I'm a little disappointed that they didn't put that in because it has dual pixel AF for video. It has the tilty flippy touchscreen. It's meant there's a lot of usage cases where this is going to find itself it's doing video and it doesn't have that kind of really basic video functionality. But I almost think that the, the three inch touch tilty flippy screen makes up for that because that is something that more and more people are wanting a lot more of. And I think that that's gonna be a really invaluable tool, even if all you're gonna do with it is compose and take uh, like family group portraits, um, I think that it I think that it has a lot of potential to be a fantastic video camera. I think what this 77D is doing is saying what's the purpose of the ADD? Because if this is coming in at a price point below the ADD, which it should do, then why would someone like myself who wants an APS-C censored dual pixel hybrid AF Canon camera buy an ADD just for the headphone jack? That doesn't seem like enough to me. I mean, it doesn't seem like that's so adequate a reason. I'll still have audio levels on that tilty flippy touch screen and if it's a couple hundred dollars difference I'm gonna go with the one that's a couple hundred dollars cheaper because I don't need the headphone jack desperately because I'm not making content on a regular basis that has me behind the camera. So for a lot of people like YouTubers I can't imagine them buying an ADD once the 77D comes out. I think that that just doesn't make very much sense. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what the mar where the marketplace decides this camera fits into Canon's lineup and Canon's APS-C lineup and where Canon's pricing puts it within that, that same marketplace as well. I think this camera has a lot of potential to be really cool and what I'm most interested in seeing out of it is what its low light performance is feels like cameras have kind of stabilized right there around that 24 megapixels, but that doesn't always mean that they have the best low light performance. But because that's becoming more stable, a lot more cameras are able to have better ISO performance at right around 24 megapixels because we've kind of stabilized there and gotten used to it and can, can refine that sensor. So I think I'm really excited about this camera. If it is a couple hundred bucks cheaper than the ADD, I'll probably just, just go ahead and get that one. I'll, because this is, seeming to be coming out soon, or at the very least have a lot of rumors around it that seem to be fairly confirmed. I'm just going to hold out and wait for that. Um, I made a video the other day about Alpha 6300 versus ADD or Alpha 6500 versus ADD, and I said, you know what, I desperately want an ADD. But if this 77D can do everything that I want out of it, that the ADD can do too, then I'm going to just wait for the 77D and hope that it's a couple hundred bucks cheaper, and if it's not, then... I'll just get the ADD then. So I think Canon is Canon is is very strange in that it works against itself sometimes. I feel like if 
they had put a usable, you know, codec in the 5D Mark IV for 4K and not had some, such a terrible crop in it and given you, the consumer, something more, you know, full frame and something a little bit more manageable in terms of codec, that that camera would have just been like the perfect camera. But they're working against themselves because they're saying, I want to sell more cinema line cameras. And the consumers are saying, but we want to buy DSLRs. And so I don't, I don't really know what niche this 77D is filling because the ADD has already filled it. The T6S, T6i are already great cameras. So I'm really curious as to what you th what niche you think this camera is going to be filling and what the usage cases that you think it's going to find itself in most often um, because are going to be because I don't really see a reason for it existing quite yet and so I'm I'm very curious and I, I hope you really enjoyed this kind of photo news and I really hope that you uh, got something interesting a new perspective at the very least and hopefully some new information out of it so um, thank you very much for your attention and I'll see you in the next one